Looking frail, this was one of Margaret Thatcher's last public appearances, visiting her old home to congratulate the latest resident. And it was Conservative Prime Minister David Cameron who delivered one of the first tributes. We've lost a great Prime Minister, a great leader, a great Britain. As our first woman Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher succeeded against all the odds. And the real thing about Margaret Thatcher is that she didn't just lead our country, she saved our country. In recent years, she was rarely seen in public. Health problems dictated she take a much lower profile. Arguably the most recognisable British politician since Churchill, Margaret Hilda Thatcher became Prime Minister in 1979, the first woman ever to be elected to the position in the UK. Where there is discord, may we bring harmony. Where there is error, may we bring truth. Where there is doubt, may we bring faith. And where there is despair, may we bring hope. She promised economic changes, but progress of what was dubbed Thatcherism was slow. Under pressure to alter course, famously, she refused. The ladies not for turning. Then Argentina invaded the British-held Falkland Islands in April 1982. After a short, bloody war, the islands were recaptured. The white flag is flying over Stanley. So the way she fought that war, the decisiveness, seemed to work as a sort of metaphor for what she could do for the economy at home. She'd beaten the Argentines in the South Atlantic, now she's going to beat unemployment and the economy things at home. Dubbed it the Iron Lady by the Russians in the general election the following year. Well, Mrs. The Falklands factor saw Mrs. Thatcher's Conservative Party win with a much bigger parliamentary majority. But her new government found itself challenged by a strike by Britain's coal miners. It was a violent, bitter dispute which split the country. It is the miners' strike in the mid-80s, which I think began to define her then and with the passage of time will define her completely as the divisive figure that she was. It did seem as if one half of Britain was taking up arms against another half of Britain. She would say that it was a necessary battle. Strikers showed their defiance. It was a battle she eventually won. Mrs Thatcher had long been a target for the Irish Republican Army. In October 1984, a hotel she was staying in was bombed by the IRA it was a clear attempt to kill her and her cabinet. My husband was in bed and all the windows went yeah. and the bathroom was extremely badly In damaged. your own room? Yes, in your room. yes. I we think were, that's enough yes. Yes. We, were, yeah. we were very lucky. On the international stage, she wooed and bullied in equal measure. She described Mikhail Gorbachev, the then Soviet leader, as a man she could do business with. But it was with Ronald Reagan, her political soulmate, that she developed a special bond. I remember way back when you and Ronnie first met and there was an instant rapport. You both shared your convictions and philosophies and from then on you were partners, allies and friends and Ronnie was your biggest fan. She was on the phone to him and she was going on and on and on and he was in a group with uh, advisors around him and he picked up the telephone as she squealed so that everybody could hear, held it out to his friend, nya, 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 they could hear, and he turned to his friends and said, isn't she wonderful? She attracted fury for consistently refusing to impose sanctions on apartheid South Africa. Some think she's been harshly judged. She was no friend of apartheid at all. She was telling uh, South Africans the whole time that this cannot last, not so much on moral grounds, but on, on sort of economic grounds. This is no way to run an economy. You cannot do this. You have, you have got to change. She won a third term as Prime Minister, but controversial policies lost her support in the country and in her party. In November 1990, she resigned and left Downing Street. The Iron Lady almost cracked. Ladies and gentlemen, we're leaving Downing Street for the last time after 11 and a half wonderful years. Politically, Margaret Thatcher cast a shadow which remained after she left office. Her final years were dogged by ill health. A series of minor strokes meant she rarely spoke in public. But critics and supporters alike would accept that Margaret Thatcher helped create a period of fundamental change, not just in Britain, but across the world.